Hey guys, Sasha from NetbookNews.com with the new Asus EPET Transformer Prime, the very first NVIDIA Tegra 3 tablet that is available on the market running Android uh, Honeycomb 3.2.1 right now, but pretty sure that we're getting an ice cream sandwich update in January. But what I would like to show you today are some um, NVIDIA Tegra optimized games. So uh, let's start with a familiar one that is Riptide GP that we already saw in the Tegra zone for the NVIDIA Tegra 2 platforms. So this is an enhanced version. Comes with some new graphic effects that I'm about to show you right now. Gosh, this open find is so annoying, I tell you that. No thanks, I don't like fun, of course. Let's go for it. So what NVIDIA optimized over here, definitely um, these water effects. Watch out when you see these sprinkles now. And especially when I'm using the Turbo Boost, that also should be a little bit different. So first of all, performance is great. Let's wait for the first jump so we can see these. Okay, is this a Turbo? Here we go. You see that? And now you see, ooh, you see all these water sprinkles here. So that's definitely new. Pretty sure the frame rate also went up a little bit, even though, I mean, okay, the human eye can only get like 25 frames a second. Anyways, it looks great. Definitely has some improved graphics over the Tegra 2 version, as you can see right now. Let's try another turbo boost here. Or maybe not. Anyways, that is uh, Riptide GP. And let's go back here and let's try Shadow Gun. In my opinion, the best third person shooter that you can get for a touchscreen device so far. And this also got heavily improved. Oh, it says Twilight version. Interesting. Uh, a development build. Um, it should be already available over the NVIDIA Tegra zone and on the Android market. So if you have a Transformer Prime or if you want to buy a Tegra 3 tablet in Q1 2012, check out the NVIDIA Tegra zone. You will find all the Tegra 3 optimized games over there. I think these dynamic lightnings are already different. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here is a one of these final robots and this should show you how improved the graphics oh can you see this this is new so we have some water over there right now oh and here we go not too bad so yeah that's all new the reflections over here even when they're hitting me, this explosion is quite different. Let me show you. Oh, ooh. You know, it's still not so easy for me to play a third person shooter on a touchscreen device, but I'm getting there. So I guess you got the idea. That's pretty decent. Okay. You know, let me close a couple of apps just to make sure. And let's move to the next one, um, which is Sprinkle. Really like that game. It's easy to play on the first stages, but it's getting quite complicated when you're getting to a later stage. So all you have to do is just extinguish this fire here. So you're a fireman. And what you can see right now is that they improved here the water animation compared to the Tegra 2 version. So all these small little sprinkles, that's new, definitely. Looks pretty good. I mean, that's not a huge improvement, but it just shows you at least a little bit what's happening here. 
with Tegra 3. Let's head over to something else. Um, we have the global demo, which is a game that I'm just not getting. Well, it's a graphic demo. That's all what it is. Well, it just uh, shows you the performance of uh, the Tegra 3 platform. I'm not even sure if it's loading right now. It is, obviously. Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. So can you see that? Look at these mirror effects and the dynamic lightning and how all these objects are moving. Right? That's pretty cool. Oops. Guys, I have no clue what I'm doing here with this game or with this graphic demo or what I should do with it. But uh, it looks good. <laughs> That's all I wanted to show you. Um, but let's go to something completely different. Um, and this is Blade Slinger. I'm also doing a single video on this one because this is brand new. Uh, well, think about um, what's it, Infinity Blade for the Apple iPad or Blood and Glory for Android tablets meets um, a Western scene, Sergio Leone, whatever guy, meets Alien 3. I guess that's what this game is all about. Let's fast forward it here a little bit. And let's head over to the very first encounter and alien. Okay, let's do it. So you can be a gunslinger, but you can also shoot. See that? So yeah, the graphics are really cool. And just shows you what the Tegra 3 platform is capable of. One more, uh, which will also be a demo. And this is uh, like a mixed martial art thing. I don't even know what the name of it is. But here we go. It just shows you again the graphic performance and the moving objects. And you can see the four different GPU cores here. how it's addressing each and every core and we have four threads running so okay but this game never ends even though that there is uh, this countdown here but it's just uh, going on and on and on let's give him another one see how oh, he's getting his health back but anyways uh, it just shows you a little bit about the performance again okay let's get beaten up here we go. Fantastic. One last one is our Big Top THD, which is a circus game, but I actually can't even tell you the, about the improvement compared to um, the versions for Tegra 2, because actually I've never played it on a Tegra 2. I thought it was kind of boring. It's a circus game. You need to do circus stunts, you need to be the clown, you need to take care of the tigers and you need to juggle. Oh, let's let's try this guy with the knife throwing. I've never did this. Let's try. Well, unfortunately, there's only hard. Okay, almost there. Here we go. Okay, it's using the accelerometer. Here we go. Not sure if you really need Tegra 3 for this, but look at the animation of the sky escape and everything and all the stuff that is going on in the background. You can actually even change the scene here. Anyways, 
I'm pretty sure that he got a very good impression of uh, what the Tegra 3 platform in the ASUS EPET Transformer Prime is capable of. Uh, I will definitely do some more videos, especially on Gunslinger. I'm such a f